Hello, my famous fans, royal watchers, and history enthusiasts. Today, we're delving into a story that blends royal tradition with a touch of personal apology. It involves the Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton, and her heartfelt message to the Irish Guards, a regiment close to her heart. Kate holds a special position within the British military as the Colonel of the Irish Guards, a role bestowed upon her by Queen Elizabeth II in 2011. Imagine a sea of scarlet uniforms and bearskin hats, the rhythmic thud of marching boots, and the fluttering of regimental flags against the backdrop of Horse Guards Parade. Trooping the color is a visual feast, steeped in history and tradition. For Kate, as Colonel of the Irish Guards, her presence at this event is more than ceremonial. It's a chance to show her support for the men and women who serve their country. In the annals of royal correspondence, Kate Middleton's letter to the Irish Guards stands out for its genuine emotion and personal touch. Penned with sincerity, the letter conveyed her deep regret for missing the Colonel's review, an important event leading up to the grand Trooping the Color ceremony. The letter, shared with the public, offered a glimpse into Kate's sense of responsibility and her strong connection to the regiment. She elaborated on the reasons for her absence, citing her actual health condition that unfortunately coincides with the event. The letter serves as a tangible expression of her respect for the Irish Guards, a sentiment that transcends her physical absence. Royal watchers speculate about the pressing engagements towards getting fit amidst cancer battle that prevents Kate from attending the Colonel's review. On Saturday, 15th June, 2024, balancing the roles of a mother, a working royal, and a dedicated Colonel is no mean feat. However, amidst battle, one thing remains clear. While expressing her disappointment, Kate's letter also strikes a note of anticipation for the future. I am so looking forward to seeing you all at Trooping the Color next month, she wrote, her words offering a glimmer of hope for a future reunion with her regiment. Her commitment to her role as Colonel shone through, underscoring the depth of her connection to the Irish Guards. Despite the disappointment of her absence at the Colonel's review, Kate's letter leaves a positive impression. It is a small gesture, perhaps, but one that speaks volumes about her character and her deep respect for the traditions she upholds. Kate Middleton's heartfelt apology for missing the Colonel's review is met with a wave of positive responses from both the military community and the public. Military commentators praised Kate's commitment to her role as Colonel of the Irish Guards, emphasizing the significance of her gesture in strengthening the bond between the monarchy and the armed forces. Public reaction is equally positive, with many expressing understanding for Kate's predicament and commending her for taking the time to apologize. Her down-to-earth approach and relatable tone resonates with people, reinforcing her image as a modern royal who balances tradition with the demands of a tragic situation. The widespread acceptance of Kate's apology underscores the public's evolving expectations of the monarchy. Beyond the initial wave of positive reactions, Kate's apology sparks a broader conversation about the pressures faced by public figures particularly women in high-profile roles. The incident highlights the delicate balancing act required to fulfill multiple responsibilities, often under intense scrutiny. Commentators pointed out the impossible standards often placed upon women in the public eye, particularly mothers, who are expected to juggle careers with family life seamlessly. Kate's absence serves as a reminder that even royals face the same time constraints and personal challenges as everyone else. Kate's commitment to both her royal duties and her family responsibilities reflects this evolving landscape, as royals navigate the expectations of tradition alongside the demands of contemporary life. Ultimately, Kate's apology, while seemingly a small gesture, resonates beyond the immediate context of the missed event. Kate Middleton's heartfelt apology for missing the Colonel's review while unique in its specific context, echoes a long-standing tradition within the British monarchy of acknowledging public expectations and maintaining a delicate balance between tradition and modernity. Throughout history, 
British monarchs have navigated the intricacies of their public roles, often facing scrutiny for their actions and decisions. In this context, apologies and expressions of regret, while not always frequent, have served as a means of acknowledging missteps, demonstrating humility, and maintaining a connection with the public. Queen Elizabeth II, during her long reign, occasionally issued statements of regret or concern, often in response to national tragedies or moments of public unease. These instances, while sometimes met with skepticism, highlight the delicate balance royals must strike between upholding tradition and navigating the complexities of modern life. Kate Middleton's approach to her royal role reflects a broader shift within the monarchy towards greater transparency, accessibility, and a willingness to engage with contemporary issues. Unlike previous generations, who often maintained a more distant and formal relationship with the public, Kate and other younger royals have embraced a more relatable and approachable persona. They engage actively on social media, champion causes close to their hearts, and are more open about their personal lives all while upholding the dignity and traditions of their roles. This shift towards modernity does not diminish the significance of their traditional duties, such as their involvement with the military. Kate's heartfelt apology in this context serves as a small but significant example of this modern approach. Kate Middleton's role as Colonel of the Irish Guards is just the latest chapter in a long and storied history of British royals aligning themselves with military regiments. This tradition, deeply woven into the fabric of the monarchy, dates back centuries, reflecting the intertwined nature of crown and country, particularly in times of war and peace. From the early days of monarchy, British sovereigns often assumed leadership roles within the armed forces, leading troops into battle and embodying the spirit of national defense. As the monarchy evolved, these roles gradually transitioned from active command to ceremonial leadership, but the symbolic importance remained steadfast. The tradition continued into the 20th century, with King George VI and Queen Elizabeth II maintaining their own strong ties to the military. Kate Middleton's heartfelt apology for missing the Colonel's review stands in contrast to the more reserved approach to public sentiment often adopted by previous generations of royals. Queen Elizabeth II, known for her unwavering sense of duty and stoicism, rarely issued public apologies during her reign. Her public statements, while conveying empathy and concern, often focused on offering reassurance and rallying the nation rather than expressing personal regret. Similarly, other senior royals of her generation generally adhered to a more traditional approach to public sentiment, prioritizing discretion and maintaining a sense of decorum. In contrast, Kate Middleton's apology, while respectful of tradition, reflects a more modern sensibility, one that values transparency, authenticity, and a willingness to connect with the public on a more personal level. Kate Middleton's heartfelt letter of apology reflects a broader cultural shift towards greater emotional openness and a willingness to express vulnerability, even within traditionally stoic institutions like the British monarchy. Historically, British culture, heavily influenced by Victorian ideals of restraint and decorum, often discouraged outward displays of emotion, particularly those deemed negative or self-deprecating. However, in recent decades, a growing emphasis on emotional intelligence and mental well-being has challenged these long-held norms. The younger generation, less bound by traditional expectations, has embraced a more open and honest approach to expressing their feelings, both positive and negative. The younger generation of royals, including Prince William and Prince Harry, have been at the forefront of this change, speaking candidly about their mental health challenges and advocating for greater emotional awareness. Kate Middleton's journey as Colonel of the Irish Guards is a testament to her dedication and her ability to navigate the complexities of royal duty with grace and authenticity. From the outset, Kate approached her role with humility and a desire to learn. She immersed herself in the history and traditions of the Irish Guards, taking the time to understand their values, their sacrifices, and the unique challenges they face. Her efforts to integrate into the military community extended beyond formal engagements. She attended social events, chatted with soldiers' families, 
and even participated in training exercises, showcasing her willingness to go beyond the ceremonial aspects of her role. Her down-to-earth approach and her ability to connect with people on a personal level earned her the respect and admiration of those she met. For Kate Middleton, the role of Colonel of the Irish Guards is more than just an honorary title. It's a deeply personal commitment that carries significant weight and responsibility. As the wife of a future king and the mother of future heirs to the throne, her every action is scrutinized, and her performance in this role holds implications not just for her public image, but also for the future of the monarchy. The pressure to uphold the traditions of the monarchy while also appealing to a modern, diverse society weighs heavily on her shoulders. She must navigate the expectations of a public that demands both accessibility and regal bearing, modernity and a respect for tradition. Her military role adds another layer of complexity. Every public appearance, every interaction with soldiers and their families, is an opportunity to shape public perception, to demonstrate her commitment to duty, and to reinforce the relevance of the monarchy in a rapidly changing world. Kate Middleton's heartfelt apology for missing the Colonel's review offers a glimpse into the woman beneath the uniform, revealing a deep sense of responsibility. In that simple act of expressing regret, she transcended the formality of her position. Her apology is not not just about a missed event, it is about a promise broken, due to circumstances beyond her control. It speaks volumes about her character and dedication to duty. Kate's gesture is refreshingly authentic. It humanized her, reminding everyone that behind the titles and uniforms lies a woman who takes her responsibilities seriously. As we've explored, Kate Middleton's heartfelt apology for missing the Colonel's review provides a fascinating glimpse into the evolving role of royals in modern society, particularly within the context of long-standing military traditions. For centuries, the British monarchy has maintained a deep and intricate connection with the armed forces, with royals often assuming symbolic leadership roles within various regiments. This bond, forged in times of war and peace, represents a vital link between the crown and those who serve their country. However, in a rapidly changing world grappling with complex social, political, and technological advancements, the role of the monarchy itself is undergoing a transformation. While the pomp and ceremony of traditions like Trooping the Color remain visually captivating and historically significant, the public increasingly seeks a deeper connection with those who hold positions of privilege and influence. Kate Middleton, through her actions and gestures, embodies this delicate balance between tradition and modernity. She embraces the symbolism of her military role, understanding the importance of upholding centuries-old customs that honor the service and sacrifice of the armed forces. Yet simultaneously, she navigates her royal duties with a contemporary sensibility. Recognizing that accessibility, transparency, and authenticity are paramount in connecting with a public that values relatability alongside regal bearing. Her heartfelt apology, penis with genuine regret and a touch of humility, exemplifies this modern approach. It demonstrates her understanding that while royal duties hold immense weight, life's complexities can sometimes disrupt even the most meticulously planned schedules. This simple act of acknowledging her absence and expressing disappointment resonated deeply with both the military community and the public, further solidifying her image as a relatable and grounded royal. It underscored her commitment to her role while simultaneously humanizing her, reminding everyone that even those in positions of prominence face the same logistical challenges and time constraints as anyone else. In an age where public figures often shy away from admitting fault or expressing vulnerability, Kate Middleton's willingness to pen a personal apology speaks volumes about her character and her understanding of evolving public expectations. Kate Middleton's journey as a royal, particularly her role as Colonel of the Irish Guards, offers a glimpse into the future of the British monarchy. Her ability to navigate tradition and modernity, to connect with people from all walks of life, and to infuse her duties with authenticity and warmth bodes well for the institution she represents. Her impact is undeniable. She has breathed new life into age-old traditions, making them relevant to a younger generation. She upholds duty and tradition while embracing modernity and compassion. 
Her character speaks volumes about the evolving relationship between the monarchy and the public. Future generations will remember her for her elegance, grace, and genuineness. I hope my famous fans this premiere impacted you in one way or the other. Please if so, subscribe to my channel for more videos on the royals and celebrities. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell for latest scoops, news and gossip. Till then, see you again.